In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick tip to get you instant control over your quarterback in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my channel before, my channel basically focuses on Madden 21 tips and tricks. We post four times every single day here on YouTube. So if you are not subscribed yet, I'd highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. That is going to help you take your Madden game to the next level. Because again, what we try to do is focus on tips and strategies. Sometimes we do really cool videos like this one where you show you little tactics in the game, little concepts that can really, really take your game to the next level. I'm really, really excited excited to share this with you so let's jump into the video uh, real quick but before we do I do want to let you know if you're new to the channel and you haven't already joined I would encourage you to join my texting membership it's completely free to join the texting membership all you have to do is pull out your cell phone and text me my number is 812-216-3644 let me know you want to be a part of the texting membership and I will just add you to my contact list contact list and every single week we shoot out exclusive Madden 21 tips and tricks um, typically are longer in form. The last one we did shows you how to stop the run literally out of every single running formation in the game. So we're going to go through how to stop I form, how to stop strong close, how to stop, how to stop fullback dive, QB draw, some of those runs that you guys are uh, really just having a little bit of an issue with. So uh, if you guys want to pick that up, go ahead and pick that up in the description. All right, guys. So I wanted to just share this with you. This is a uh, just a quick tip here about how to cancel the quarterback drop back. So last year, what we basically did was we just held right at the snap of the ball and that would cancel the QB drop back. Let me show you that real quick this year. You see it does, but it kind of, um, it just kind of continues to move the quarterback and it can continue to move the quarterback in a way that is not beneficial to your offense. So what I like to do is at the snap of the ball, I'm gonna hold left trigger and click the left stick to the left or to the right one time and that is going to allow me to cancel that auto drop back. So there's, that right there is the auto drop back. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Literally, you're gonna hold left trigger and I like to hold left trigger, honestly, as I snap the ball, I like to hold it. So I'll, I'll literally sit like this right here and then I'll snap the ball and immediately hold left, left trigger and left on the left uh, joystick and you're seeing that it's going to allow me to cancel that auto drop back and get instant control over the quarterback what i like to basically do with that is i like to turn that into um pocket management you see that i can manage the pocket and kind of control my quarterback much 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 better in the pocket if i hold left trigger and uh kind of use that as almost like a guide uh last year it served as a pre precision modifier for a lot of things now this is a tip that kind of i was put onto by coach dc if you haven't checked his youtube channel out he's got a really really good one but what's really cool about out, especially out of under center is what you can basically do especially if you have like escape artists you can literally just take off you see that right there see how i can get like 10 yards this is just standard big nickel over g cover three so literally just stand here and then just take off now if you have a skate artist or you have lamar jackson this is going to be even more beneficial but basically like i said literally left trigger and then you're just clicking you're just clicking the left joystick up that is going to really save you i'm going to show you how to do it out of shotgun here in just a minute but literally left stick and then take off and as you can see here we're able to get out and we're able to get some quick yards this is a way that you can kind of do what i would say is a makeshift quarterback draw you see he's just stepping up taking that one little hitch step and then he's jumping up and he's able to go this also is really really effective in my opinion against shed d's a lot of people are running shed d's if you use this pocket tip right here the pocket blitzers the the defensive linemen are programmed they're going to automatically get upfield. so if you're if you're up in the pocket like this right here uh, and you're just you're just standing there taking your time taking your time taking your time obviously you don't want to go past the line of scrimmage but as long as you're as long as you're up in the pocket and you're just kind of managing things managing things managing things you know just kind of sliding sliding like look how much time i have and i will literally um, i would encourage you if you haven't already done this to go ahead and just take maybe 30 minutes each night and just work on your pocket presence this is a tip that i was given to uh by bless them seven seven uh a, a long guy or a long time ago back in the summer really not that long ago but it feels like forever ago but he taught me how to do pocket presence how to work and basically what it comes down to is very subtle movements with your left joystick very very subtle uh, and that will honestly guys there's nothing that can give you more time uh, in Madden than understanding this tip right here um, if you're able to cancel your drop back sit in the pocket maneuver the pocket and really 
use some of these tactics, it will really help you. Now, let me show you how to do it on a shotgun. On a shotgun, it's a little bit more, um, it's not as good, in my opinion, this year as it's been in years past, but I will show you how to do that. So we're going to come on one of my favorite plays in Madden, and that's to play Curl Wheel. If you have never used Curl Wheel before, pick up my Arizona Cardinals ebook in the description of this video. Uh, it comes with my 46 defense. It's a Madden 21 bundle. So Madden 21 competitors bundle guide in the description of this video. There's a link for you to pick that up. But this, this route combination is absolutely insane this year. But literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to do that same exact thing. Left on the D-pad and then move him left. And then you see here immediately what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb the pocket and sometimes that will happen like as you start to do this more and more but basically what i would encourage you to do is just you see how he's still doing that auto drop back and it's going to take him back you know three or four steps and then he's able to step up and go what you want to try to do with this is again that same idea but what i'm going to tell you to do it is almost like a quick a click literally a click of the button with your left with your left uh left joystick so you're either going to flick it to the right or flick it to the left as soon as the ball snaps so flick it just like that right there, and then you're able to get that instant control, and then you're able to move him wherever you want to go. So if you flick it to the left or you flick it to the right, it's not going to matter. You see here, I can flick it to the right, get that instant control, and then I'm able to make that great throw over the middle of the field to Devontae Adams. This is a very subtle little thing. Um, it, it may not seem like much from shotgun, but having that split second of that instant control to be able to climb the pocket, especially against some of the heavy blitzers that you're going to face uh, in Madden, is actually really, really effective. You see here, that probably bought me, even though it doesn't feel like it did, it probably bought me a good like you know four or five seconds. And what I like to do is have like almost like a general path in which I follow. You see that one thing you don't want to do from shotgun, at least in my opinion, is you don't want this to take away from, you know, kind of what you're trying to accomplish as far as getting the ball down the field and reading the defense. You want this to basically complement it. You know, Bill Walsh talks about timing, everything's timing, everything's timing. So, you know, if you work and time your step ups and if you flick it or click that left stick, at the right time, you're actually going to find uh, this is actually a very, very effective uh, tip for you. It does take some practice. I have not mastered it by any means, but it's something that I came across um, this this weekend that I wanted to kind of get you guys uh, thinking about in leveraging in your own schemes. One of the things, like I said, out of shotgun, in my opinion, it's still there's some still some some things that you have to work out that I have to work out as far as making sure that it's effective uh, for what we want it to be, so that it doesn't like actually take away from our offense. But I would say that as a general rule or general thought, what my takeaway has been is from under center, it's absolutely an unreal tip. Um, because literally you can essentially turn everything into a quarterback draw. As you see right there, I think he sent six. I'm able to climb the pocket, get a few extra seconds. If I'm able to cancel the auto drop back right there, you know, that's going to be, you know, that's probably going to mean that I can get out, especially if you have like an escape artist quarterback or something like that. So this is just going to take some time uh, to, to kind of work through. But all in all, I think this is one of the, you know, one of those little things that really make a big difference in your game. So be sure to join the text message membership if you have not already joined that. Uh, I think there's a lot of good stuff in it. I would recommend doing this drill literally every day i would just climb the pocket work on managing the pocket work on it work on it work on it work on it because what i find in madden 21 especially your ability to manage the pocket is going to be directly correlated uh, to your ability to be successful as a passer if you want to be a good passer in madden you have to get good pot good at pocket presence you have to get good at rolling out with your quarterback and making reads on the run you have to get good at that stuff so this is kind of a little way that i would say you know get that get that drop back canceled work on climb in the pocket work on kind of managing it a lot of it has to do with sensitivities of the left uh joystick in my opinion um as you see right there but like me in that situation right there i can i can cancel that auto drop back um just like that right there that's what i'm looking for right there you see how he canceled it and that's what i'm talking about about clicking clicking the joystick so uh anyways guys that's gonna wrap up the video i just wanted to uh encourage you i hope this video was helpful for you i hope you found it insightful i hope you took away something you can use if you haven't joined the text membership be sure to do that there's a link to my arizona cardinals uh, offensive scheme in the description of this video there's also a link to our discord where you can throw this out into your community uh and uh and just kind of you know test the waters get better lab partners get better at the game that 
that way. Uh, I feel like I have a really, really solid community building over at Discord. So if you have not already joined it, I would love to invite you into that uh, real quick. But uh, that's going to do it, guys. I really appreciate it. Like I said, we'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so just check that out. And I'd love to play on stream. Text in if you want those free tips. And uh, we'll be seeing you.